Hello everyone, it is Joe here from Omnipoke, the channel that brings you everything Pokemon. And today we're going to be covering Virizion Genesect post Phantom Forces. Um, I've got three different types of Virgen that we're going to be trying out today. We're going to try out the um, basic Virgen that has a line of Drift Blim in it, as you can see, just a 2 2. We're going to play a Virizion Genesect deck that has. Um, it's pretty much just a straight Virgen deck that has a 1-1 one, one Electrode line in it to try and keep it consistent. Basically, this is the uh, quickest version of the deck that we have at the moment, just with a 1-1 one, one tech in it. Everything else is just the core strategy of getting out those G-boosters and stuff like that. And finally, we're going to be looking at Virizion Manetric with the Mega Manetric EX, um, additional Turbo Volt, another way of getting energy into, the, uh, into play. Especially after you've G-boosted and stuff like that, you want to get energy from the discard back into the deck and into play, stuff like that. So Manetric EX uh, performs that very well and also has good coverage against Yveltal and such. So we're going to be trying out these three different Verizon Genesect decks against three random players. Hopefully we can get some good videos in. Uh, I can't promise anything though because I obviously don't know who I'm playing. So first we're going to start off with just the... Frisian Genesect that has balloons in it. And see what we come up against. Here we are against uh God, I don't know how to say that name. Uh Coquit O Z K. Uh I don't know. Coquitolzk. I'm terrible with pronunciation. Sorry about that, sir. But regardless, he flips a coin, gets heads, and is gonna choose whether to go first or second here. And for some reason he's taking a while to decide this. <laughs> Should be pretty cut and dry. Yep, he is going to decide to go first. And we start off with a mulligan. And we actually are able to start with a Verizion. Perfect. That's exactly what we want to start with. Uh, we're going to keep Jirachi in the hand for now. And let's have a look at what he's playing. So we see a Duskull and a Yveltal, a non -EX. so it's obviously a dark build, could be some Seismitoad in here or something as well, maybe some Mewtwo's, and it's going to be using Dust Noir to manipulate damage around the board. He's going to attach for the turn, a dark energy. Gets rid of VS Seeker and a shadow circle with an ultra ball straight away grabbing himself a dark cry he probably would have actually wanted to hold off with the dark cry and get the dark in the discard oh no he does have the energy switch so he knew what he was doing and he just hands it over to us after attaching uh, or reattaching to the e toll. we were able to get a grass energy into play and we can use Skylar right now and we're going to go looking for a Team Plasma Ball. We do run a couple of hammers in here because it has good synergy with the uh, Drifloons. They enjoy when your opponent's energy is in the discard, the special energy. So I'm just going to look through. We do have our Deoxys. We've got at least one line of balloons. We've got all three of our Genesects. So looking pretty good. We've got one balloon prized, the um, Drifloon. We're going to find ourselves a Genesect straight away. Slap that down on the bench and just leave it to our opponent there. Not a bad start for Verizion. Uh, we do have that Jirachi, but I'm cautious of putting it down, especially because of the Dust Noir. 90 HP for, th for two prizes is definitely not what we're uh, going to want to give our opponent. As they go for a Juniper evolves into a dust clops and puts a muscle band on to hit 50 damage with no energy in the discard so that's fine we're going to attach a grass to Verizion we could just Skylar here or VS Seeker for a Skylar trying to think what I'm most likely to want uh, we could just find another Genesect we could go for a muscle band that could be pretty useful yeah, I'm going to go for a muscle band here. So that we can start threatening this non EX. 
We could also go for a hammer, but I don't think that's going to serve too much of a uh, important purpose here. We didn't get a muscle band, so hopefully uh, Verizian can put a dent in this guy and maybe take it out next turn if we're still alive. And we're able to get two energy onto Genesect. Not a bad start at all for Virgen. He's able to go into Dust Noir and uses a Lysander. Slaps a third energy onto Eveltol so it can use its second attack for 100 damage. <clears throat> He's going to do some Sinister Hand shenanigans. We're not going to be knocked out regardless, so I don't know why he's doing this. Or are we? Maybe my maths is terrible. Yes, it is terrible. <laughs> we are going to die here. To this Yveltal. Losing two prizes. He flips heads, but we're going to kill it anyway with Verizian. Not too worried about that. I'd rather him kill the, Veriz the Genesect than the Verizian, because we can easily just stack up another... Genesect in one attack, so here we go, going for the aggressive Juniper here. Unfortunately, we don't get a Pokemon. That is really not good for us. So Genesect's attack is going to be wasted. But, oh well, we can wipe all the energy off our opponent's board for now. Uh, we don't have any bench, so we're not going to attach any grasses and see what he can do from there. Really bad that we didn't get a Pokemon there. Really bad. Luckily though, if he's using Darkrai, he's going to have to spend his attachment for the turn on dedicating something to retreat, unless he's able to find float stones or something. He does indeed go into that Darkrai. Discards a Dust Noir and a Seismitoad. He definitely doesn't want to use that against Virgen. He gets a Spiritomb out, which is kind of unnerving. And he finds himself a Mewtwo, puts a DC on it straight away. We're going to Skylar here. <clears throat> and we could just go for a Hammer and set him back a bit, but I'd rather get a Genesect up and running at this point. We've already lost one, so... I'm going to Ultra Ball away a Letter. And... Also a Plasma Energy. to find ourselves a Genesect. We could try and pick off that Spiritomb. I'm going to capture it up here so that when we use Megalo Cannon we can kill it because of the 70 damage from Emerald Slash. So we actually do get multiple prizes off the Megalo Cannon when we choose to use it, but the Verizian's absolutely healthy right now, so we can keep on um, abusing our Emerald Slashes for now. He ends us as well, which is actually pretty good because we get two Grasses out of our hand. And does indeed retreat to that Mewtwo. And hits us for 80 damage. We do not need the Deoxys in this matchup. I don't run any Psychics, so we can't um, abuse his attack but what we can do is find a balloon here or a genesect alternatively I am just going to grab a balloon because I want to start getting this into play because it can do good work against Mewtwo's and such uh, there's only one energy in the discard at the moment but that does stack up I'm also going to ultra ball here getting rid of a Skylar and a Switch so that this time we can grab a Genesect and start preparing for the war here. We could go for a Catcher again and try and get some damage on the Yveltal and stuff like that. That could be pretty useful. Uh, yeah, I think I am going to do that. Or we could go for Dust Noir and start hurting that. Basically, I want to get damage on whatever he's going to try and attack with in the end game. I'm going to Emerald Slash here. 70 damage. I know that the Drifting at the moment is a bit of a sitting duck in terms of uh, Dust Noir, but I really don't mind him targeting the Balloon. 
because it would uneven his prizes and stuff like that, which he probably doesn't want. He gets a muscle band into play as well as shadow circle and goes for a random receiver. Grabbing himself a juniper, which he plays. Getting rid of another toad and a keldeo. He's going to max potion here, the active, and put an energy onto it so it can free retreat with Darkrai. He's then going to energy switch as well, moving the energy off the Spiritomb onto the Yveltal. Good plays from him so far. He's going to move some damage off uh, Virizion because he can hit 100, so he may as well keep that 10 damage elsewhere where it can actually be useful. Oh, he's actually deciding to move more energy, uh, more damage, sorry. That's interesting. He's allowing the Virizion to live for now. Not so certain about this play, and if it's good, he may be uh, considering it. Yep, he is going to move some more damage onto Genesect. Spreading it all over the board, so that if I was to max potion, it would um, not do much. He's continuing to just spread it around the Genesects. Thinking that it's more important to just have damage all over the board that he can manipulate. In this scenario, it might actually have been useful to keep the Deoxys because a Megalo Cannon plus the 110 from the Snipe could deal with Dust Noir, but we do have Muscle Bands anyway. So he's continuing, he's being a bit anal about uh, where he's moving all this damage. He's actually decided to take out a Balloon, I think it looks like. Or at least putting a bunch of damage on it. Yeah, he is going to take it out, I think which I really don't mind at all. That's absolutely fine. And then he's going to escape rope. I'm going to bring up Genesect here. As he can evil ball us for a big amount of damage, 120. I'm going to bench another Verizian just to get it out of the hand and out of the deck and such. We're going to attach one to Genesect and just go for the Megalo Cannon here. Obviously, we can't use uh, G Booster because of that Spiriting, which we've now taken down. And we're putting a good dent into that uh, Yvel Toll as well. Our opponent chooses to Juniper, getting rid of a Toad and an N. Gets for an Enhanced Hammer. I think that's a bit of a bad move, really. He could have increased the output of Evil Ball or X Ball, whichever attack he's deciding to use this turn. Unless he just wants to use the Baby Evil Toll's Oblivion Wing. But with Dust Noir, you generally want to get as much damage on the board as possible, so. He proceeds to attach a Dark to the active. And now he's going to use his Dust Noir to move some of the damage onto a different Pokemon. He's choosing Genesect for now. And it looks like he may be Y cycloning this turn because he's left 90 damage on us. And yet, yeah, indeed, he is. So that Mewtwo is nice and beefy next turn. We are going to go into our Genesect here. We've got Muscle Band, Energy Switches. That's not going to be all that helpful for now. 
and we're doing 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So he's actually got, I think he may have game here. There's nothing I can do, I don't think, seeing as though I can't catch a kill of the Dust Noir at this point. Nope, it looks like we're having our first loss here, just uh, pretty much accepting it. Going to give our opponent the satisfaction, as every good sport should do. Unfortunately, the Dust Noir was just too good for us that time. I think it was the Max Potion that he had earlier on that really changed the tide of the game. We would have got rid of the Evil Toll and a lot of energy on his board and stuff like that. So... One loss for the first Genesec deck that we play against. Uh, thinking about it, the probably the Manetric deck would have performed better because we could kill Evil Tolls quite easily. But other than that, I think you just have to accept that this one's a tragic loss for Virgen. Game one of the three. This video, ooh, we get a mystery box, so that makes up for everything. Let's see what we can get here. Four. Tournament tokens, probably the most useless thing you can get. I don't think I've ever been online when there's a tournament running. This time we're going to use Verizian Genesect Electrode. Don't be put off by the you have zero wins thing that just came up. It's just because I've just constructed it. I've played it a bit in real life, so... I've actually come second in a Cities with a Verizian Genesect deck before uh, the rotation. And I did, in fact, use balloons there. I used a heavy line of balloons. I used a 3-3. Three, three. That was when Plasma was kind of big, so the balloons really did work then. We're playing Gravy 2 in our second match. Remember, this is the Risen Genesect now with uh, the 1-1 one -one Electrode line in. It should be a bit more streamlined than the balloon version, not clogged by two uh, hammers and four Pokemon, even though we didn't really see much of them last game. We start off with Verizian which is also great. Love starting off with Verizian. And our opponent is clearly playing Domfan. This is good. I want to showcase a game with Domfan versus Virgen because I feel like Risen Genesect can actually compete against this deck quite nicely with all the uh, capturing and stuff we can do with Plasma Energy. So we just get an energy on board as our opponent goes for a fan club this turn. Three Fampy down is a really strong start. He gets a Zekrom and a Kyurem, which isn't too worrying. He gets an energy onto the Fampy as well and just passes it over to us. We're going to get an energy and look for one of these Genesects. We do have three and our Deoxys. The Deoxys is key for this game. Definitely important. And our Voltorb is prized, unfortunately. Oh, no, it's not. It's there. <laughs> I'm thinking just because it was a plasma ball, I didn't think it was there. So that's good. We do have our 1-1 one, one line in here. Uh, I didn't actually check for the G booster. That's probably more important. Let's have a little look here. Yeah, it is here. That's good. Uh, we've got chorus. Okay. Good, good stuff. Everything seems to be in order. <laughs> so let's grab a Genesect here. as we could go for a Juniper, but there's quite a lot of supporters in hand right now, so I'm just going to Skylar. Go the slightly slower route. We do play, as you see, I'm playing the um, Tool Retriever, just testing out in this deck, because it can work in a number of random different situations. Not too sure what I want a Skylar for here. Uh, probably, probably an N. I'm just going to grab an N because I don't want to get rid of my triad too early and stuff. Especially because the capturing aspect of Genesect is going to be crucial in this matchup specifically. So he, our opponent's got a Karina and grabs a Donphan. And a Floatstone as well so that he can move his Sigilyph. He's going to get a Fighting Stadium into play as well and just hit us for 60 damage. We're going to get another Genesect into play which is very useful. 
we could end here but that's obviously not preferable I'm not going to attach the grass because I would love to get a catcher in here and kill a fampy or something we're not able to get that which is a bit of a shame we can get a vault orb down that could help us in the future for drawing and stuff like that could use some letters now that I don't really need them we've only got two more in the deck and obviously we want to use them with the emerald slash so let's just get them out of the hand I'm going to attach for the turn and just go for another emerald slash I feel like that's the best bet especially because Donphan has to get a couple extra things to actually get a knockout next turn he needs a strong and a uh, muscle band or something like that so strong and a bangle would actually have been what he would have needed uh, we still have that N but I really don't want to use that so we can Jirachi here as well let's go for that or we could just G booster for a Sigalyph he doesn't have much at the moment we could switch and G booster here hmm no I don't want to I don't want to use the booster too early let's go for Jirachi and we can find ourselves a oh our chorus is prized that is a shame we would have got a lot of cards out of that we got nine hmm still we cannot you can't use N because he's got nothing we're just gonna find a Skylar here so that we can get maybe an escape rope that could be very useful force him out of the active position probably into one of those outrages but that's really not too bad I'm going to go for the Megalo here because he's not been attaching over the last two turns and he's been drawing pretty dead so I feel confident that he's not going to really do much unless he draws well here he goes for the Ultra Ball to get another Dom fan so yeah he's got no hand at the moment we can just go for the knockout here very simple could start putting pressure on these Don fans as well take our first prize of the game <laughs> drawing all into all these ends which we can't use our opponent goes into Sigalyph straight away and he's just going to go for a spinning turn 60 into that Zekrom we're able to top deck a Ultra Ball which is great we're going to discard an N and a switch so that we can find that Deoxys and actually get a knockout here that is absolutely fantastic I could also add some disruption get rid of that float stone so that he doesn't have that constant option of using the Sigalyph let's get a 20 onto the other Dom fan so now any Megalo cannon knocks out a Dom fan if we're able to catch them Our opponent finally top decks a Karina. He's going to grab a Donphan. And a Professor's Letter for some more energy. The one thing that makes Karina inferior to Skylar is that you can't grab supporters from it, only items. But obviously the finding of fighting Pokemon is very important for decks like this. He's going to spinning turn into the Sigalyph regardless. And we're able to grab a Plasma Energy which is fantastic. So we can actually kill a Donphan here. I'm going to retreat the active in favour of the bench. Genesect. And we're going to catch her up the slightly damaged Donphan so that a Megalo Cannon will finish it off and we can also put damage onto the other Donphan that now has energy on it 
so that it will be in the same position as the one we've just killed. We're able to pull a grass out of that. As our opponent finds a muscle band, attaches another energy, smacks us for 80 this time. We're going to... I think now I want to keep the pressure on. I'm going to go for a G booster because the other Dom fans are now in range of Megalo Cannon. I don't need to worry about that. I'm just going to go for the. Let's keep attaching things here. And go for the G booster here. <clears throat> Keeping the pressure really on the opponent here. We top we get a uh, ultra ball off the prizes. Our opponent gets a fan club again. He's playing a lot of supporters that aren't draw supporters. Fan clubs and Karinas are not going to keep you ticking over the game all day. So he's going to find a fan and a Kieran. Hit us for eighty. As we can catch something up here, and get another knockout. That would be fantastic. I really don't want to use that and nothing we can, actually we're going to use the ultra ball here this is the electro coming into play we can discard the tool retriever and the ultra and the end sorry to grab an electrode and we're going to get a fresh fall off this magnetic draw after we um catch her up a dom fan here so we do actually get to show off the electrode at last get four fresh cards off that get into another end that again we're not going to be using I'm going to retreat via the um, plasma energy here and kill this Dom fan I know we are walking into a big spinning turn in the face but that's absolutely fine I'm also going to put the damage on the Kiram so we can kill that if he wishes to spin into it but we are like way ahead at this point, so. Our opponent decides to go into the Dom fan here. Gets a DCE onto it. Goes for an N. This is where Electrode really shines. We're end, but it means we're gonna get four cards regardless. And he spinning turns us for the knockout into that Kieran. All we need here is an energy switch, I think. So that is what we're going to be looking for here. We do have a chorus machine. That could be useful. So now we just need a grass energy or an energy switch. Off of this electrode. And we do miss it, which is a bit of a shame. But we can... Uh, what can we do here? We could capture the Fampy and hit it for some damage with the Verizian. I think that's what I'm going to do. Retreat into Veriz. Capture the Fampy. He has got a couple of Dom fans already in the ditch, so it may be difficult for him to find one, especially if one's prized. We're going to put a Muscle Band on, so two of the attacks of Verizian, if we are somehow able to survive, uh, would kill him. Could punch another Verizian here, just so that it's out of the hand. I'm going to go for an Emerald Slash. 70. No more Grass in the deck. So it means we got to hope for a... Ooh, what do we need now? That means we actually are in a bit of a sticky situation here. Maybe being so aggressive with the Verizium wasn't the best play. Fortunately, we get Escape Rope. That's actually really useful for us. I'm going to go into the other Verizium here. As our opponent goes for a big Juniper. 
getting rid of a lot of supporters. He gets a bangle and a strong energy, so he's going to be able to wreck us here in the face. He's going to use a Sacred Ash as well to grab some of his Fampies and Donphans and Tech cards back. And actually, he's just going for the Donphans. Oh, and one Subglyph. And he's going to smack us for 210. I'm going to go into the other Verizian. Basically, hope we can draw. We do get a Skylar. What can Skylar get us? Oh. Uh, Skylar can get us the Energy Switch. Great. There it is, energy switch. So we can pay our retreat into the Genesect here. And yep, our opponent concedes. So one win, lo one loss so far. And a lot of demonstration there why the Electrode is really strong. That's pretty nice. So our final game is going to be with the Manectric uh, Mega EX alongside Verizon and Genesect. As you saw in that last game, we did struggle with the amount of energy we had left. We actually had to resort to using Energy Switch uh, to stay in the game. We did have Trump Card and stuff like that to get energy back in that deck. But here we use the Manetrix Attack to actually recycle energy once we've G-boosted and stuff like that. So it's quite interesting. It's got a bit better coverage and we can hit through Pyroar with more things than just the G-booster now. With a Mega EX, you actually hit through Pyroar. So... Yeah, some good options with this deck, and hopefully we can find a battle soon. Hopefully, hopefully. Also, the uh, non-EX Manetric has extra sniping potential that can add up for better numbers with Megalo Cannon. But, of course, you do have to worry about fighting decks. We're going to play down Verizion. We've started with Verizion every game, which is exactly what you want to see. Actually, in this deck, you can have your Verizians or your Manetrix. Either is a good starter for you, pretty much. And we're playing another Domfan deck. Okay. You saw how it went last time. Let's see how it can go this time with some slightly different players. We're going to put down Verizian and put a Muscle Band onto it and go for an end straight away. Going to slap that down, that Deoxy straight down because that is important, and we're going to pass it over. Our opponent gets another Fampy down. Goes for a Lysander straight away. So maybe the Deoxys wasn't the best play here. I was just more cautious about an N, which he ends up discarding with an Ultra Ball for a fa uh, Don Fan, and passes it over. We're going to get a Genesect into play and put down a Grass Energy. Uh, we could. I'm going to Chorus Machine. Put it on the Genesect here. I'm comfortable ending because he Ultra Balled away his own end, so I think he's still got a supporter here. And we're unable to get this Deoxys out of the way, so we're just going to end our turn. Our opponent Ultra Balls into a Don Fan and gets an energy to it. Also plays the Escape Rope. I'm going to go into Verizian here to take the brunt of the attack. As we get smacked for 60. We've drawn into a lot of Grass Energy, which is really not what you want to see with Virgen. But we're going to Skylar here. And I need to just quickly see how many grass are actually in this deck. Probably none, because we do play lightnings in here. So there's one grass. Oh, there are still two. We do play some lightning in here, so obviously that means less grass energies. But we're going to Skylar here. I'm not sure what's the best play. I don't want to have to ditch all these energies, but also our opponent's only got a one card hand. So potentially Juniper's the best bet here. 
I'm going to grab... Oh, I'm deciding, come on. You can't rush this. Can't rush perfection. I am going to grab a juniper. And we're going to get a lightning onto Deoxys as we go for an Emerald Slash for nothing, but get energy onto the Genesect DX. And let's see if our opponent still has cards to play with here. He plays down a Bangle and uh, Fighting Energy so that he can retreat his Sigilyph and hit us for 90 damage. So he's running on empty at the moment, but that's not to say that he's not threatening us. We're just going to go for Juniper here. It does mean that at some point we're probably going to need a Manectric to get us through this game because we've just had to discard three Grass Energies. And we also draw absolutely poorly. That is terrible draws from us. But fortunately we can catch a kill, a Horlucha here, which is what we're going to go for. Oh, that's probably not the best move actually. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go for the Fampy. Cause otherwise we're giving him an automatic way to kill us next turn. So we're just gonna try and attack this Fampy here. Our opponent draws. And he's just gonna have to pass it over, which is nice. I'm gonna chorus for five cards. Not seen any manetrics yet. <laughs> we get a lightning energy onto our new Genesect. Again, we have no energy that can go on Genesects on the bent uh, left in the deck, so we're just gonna settle for now, just for a knockout here. Sorry about that little pop up saying YouTube just got better. Great. That is good. So we take a knockout here. Our opponent is going to be able to take one back with his Dom fan. But at the moment he doesn't have much going for him until he top decks a Juniper, which completely changes the game. Uh, he's going to get a sub robot into play and a Wobbuffet as well. Let's have a look at the discard here. Can't really Shadow Triad for anything too useful. And our opponent's going to be able to spin turn for a knockout going into that Sigilyph. We are going to go into our Genesec DX. And we have drawn really poorly this game. This Manetric and all of the stuff that comes with it may make this deck a little too clunky to be top tier. I have seen it used pretty effectively by other people, but at the moment we're just not got getting the stuff we need at the right times. Uh, we we are going to try out here just to get a chorus for next turn, but all we can do really is attack and hit the. There's merits in hitting both the Robo and the Dom fan. I'm going to go for the Dom fan here, just so that if we are able to get a plasma energy, we can actually uh, kill the Dom fan. We just have to hope that our opponent doesn't have the combination of Floatstone, DCE and stuff like that. He actually chooses to attach to the Horlucha, not the Dom fan, so we're going to survive at least one turn. And we'll see what he can come up with from here. He decides to discard an N and a Don Fan with Computer Search to grab himself a Floatstone. Puts a Muscle Band onto the Horlucha and goes into the Don Fan to hit us for 90 damage. And back to that Sigilyph. We again draw absolutely dead and forced to Colrus here. And I'm going to go for an Ultra Ball. Discarding the Switch and the Verizian. So that we can actually get a Manetric out. Because we need this to come into play for us. 
so that we can actually get some kills and we can actually get some energy back we're going to go for the G booster here just so that we can get a prize and actually get something out of this Genesect but at the moment it's looking pretty grim we've had a bad combination of energy draws and not getting into our Manetric quick enough and once again we're staring down a dead hand we can get the Manetric out but we need energy for it our opponent goes for a VS Seeker so he's definitely going to be killing something he actually decides to capture our Manetric very interesting just takes a prize and lets the Genesect live for some reason. I'm going to go into... Ugh, what can I go into here? Let's go into the other Genesect. So we top deck a Professor's Letter. Let's see if there's actually any energy left in the deck. There are Lightnings left. That's not too useful for us, especially without any uh, Manetrics around. They are absolute toast for Dom fans, so we're just going to have to pass it here. Hopefully our opponent is forced into scrapping his sub robot. That's probably the best we can hope for right now. But the clock is ticking, and we really don't have a way of getting any energy into play. Five of our grass are in the ditch already. And I only run seven, so... The other two are on this damaged Genesect. Our opponent's actually able to get the DCE, which is going to mean game if he can get a stadium, I believe. And he does indeed get that fighting stadium. He can just discard his sub robot and finish us off there. I think we're pretty toast that game. Manetric really doesn't offer much in a matchup against Donphan. And unfortunately, Donphan is one of the most popular decks out there at the moment. And once again, it proved itself why it is so. Ooh, goody, we find ourselves a mystery box. Hopefully we can get something good out of that and raise our spirits at the end here. Let's see what we're able to get. We get a hue. Brilliant. I thought they were meant to give you playable cards, not this guy. Anyway, there we go. Three games with Virgen. Uh, we had two losses, I think, and one win. Um... The one win was with the Electrode, probably the most streamlined of the three that I showed you. And I may as well just show off the list a little more, as we have some time here. And I'm a good guy like that. So it's just a 3-3. Three, three. I probably would up it to four Vrizians if I had a fourth one online. Um, pretty basic lineup. And, yeah, in terms of explanation, we've got one trump card just to get energies back. Um, the chorus machine and the energy switches just so that we can do multiple boosters back to back VS seekers to grab triads trump cards, choruses, stuff like that out of the discard instead of having to play a second triad and stuff because it's kind of dead draw whereas the VS seeker is more universal uh, muscle bands so that we can hit 70s and stuff like that and we can hit 130 with the combination of muscle band and deoxys to kill Don fans uh, we have escape rope and switches just to get into our Verizian's turn 2 even if we don't start with it the tool retriever at the moment I'm just testing it out at the moment because we can get rid of like head ringers and stuff like that also it means if we put a muscle band onto a genesect we can tool retriever and then turn that into a G booster and get a G booster out of nowhere so that's all pretty good stuff pretty standard deck uh, so I hope you enjoyed the games with all three of these decks this one seeing the most success on the day but hey try out your luck with all three of them because I think the Manetric is going to be very powerful somewhere along the line maybe not with Virgen but perhaps with something like a Landorus or Eveltol or something like that so all it has to worry really about is opposing Landoruses and Dom fans which seem to be the peak of popularity right now it seems every two games I'm playing at least one and a half Dom fan players. <laughs> so there it is, everyone. The Virgin decks. I've been Joe from Omnipoke. Uh, hope you enjoyed and see you next time.